Here's Rex Mossop. Experience, as I mentioned, is very important in games where a loss sees you finish. But while Saints are certainly more experienced, South Sydney have the credentials of a 26 to 12 win at Cogra and a frankly unlucky 18 to 17 loss at Redfern. South have also the excuse that perhaps they have divine intervention on their side after the way they earned their first spot last weekend. Be that as it may, there are very few rugby league followers who are not secretly delighted to see this young, enthusiastic attacking team in the big time, wondering whether they can emulate the 55 side and go all the way. It's a real test of their mettle today. One problem was the groin injury suffered by John Peake. Well, sadly for the club, he's not been able to throw off the trouble. His place is taken by the highly regarded but inexperienced Michael Carberry. Remember, the loser is finished today. The winner lives to fight another day. And let's see what some good old rabbit spirit can do for the 1980 crop. And the St George side on your screen now, they've been introduced individually. Brian Johnson, Shane McKellar, Graham Quinn, Robert Finch, Philip Graham, Tony Trudgett, Steve Morris, Graham Buckley, Graham Wynn, John Jansen, Craig Young, John Dowling and Robert Stone. The coach, of course, is Harry Bath. Well, Brian Johnson has had a quiet month. He's formed down on his known capabilities. Of the evidence of his great displays in last year's big games, he could be just about ready to explode into his best incisive form. Harry Bath would be delighted. Johnson, number one. South Sydney side, Stephen Walsh, Ziggy Niscott, Joe Squadrito, Gary Wright, Eric Ferguson, Robert Laurie, David Sinclair, Shane O'Neill, Michael Carberry playing at number 15, Nathan Gibbs, Charlie Frith, Ken Stewart and Gary Hamley. And the coach there is Bill Anderson. Eric Ferguson there in number fives. Goal kicking would probably be the only area that rugby league experts would agree that Souths have an edge. I see him as a critical element in today's contest. He may just be the difference in a tight game. Referee in today's fixture is Mr. Jack Danzy. Match results since 1960 in the 58 games. St. George have won 37, South have won 21 points for St. George a massive 1,015, South Sydney 705. Since 1960 there have been 19 games at the Sydney Cricket Ground. South have won 10. St. George have won nine. The last St. George and South game at the Sydney Cricket Ground was in 73, and South Sydney won it 13 11. 1980 record, as South have won the first round 26 to 12 at Jubilee. St. George won the second 18 17, rather tinny, at Redfern Oval. The Premiership, South have won 20, last one in 1971. St. George have won 15, last one in 1979. And the rest of the statistics you can see there. In South Sydney now in possession. Stephen Walsh, their fullback, joining into the play early at the halfway line. Stewart, Sinclair, Lurry. Oh, heavy stuff from uh, Craig Young. That'll loosen his teeth. Nathan Gibbs. I think there'll be any big pardons in this one. Sinclair's kick goes straight to. McKellar, he's gone up the sideline and ankle tapped into touch. Robert Finch threw his hands in the air in despair then. If he'd gone through that tackle, he probably would have got into the clear. Enormously important tackle from Frith. John Dowling scrums one, 188 from 357. Success rate of 52.7%. South Sydney moving the ball. First scrum win to them. Sinclair, there's young Carberry having his first touch and showing no nerves at all to his feet and plays it, no marker. Graham Wynn trying to crack him like a whip. Laurie, dummies to Hamley, gives it to Gibbs. Assassin a bit of a bunch at the moment, Charlie Frith on the open side of the ruck. Up to the St George quarter line, last tackle. Is it the kick? It is Sinclair. High she goes. Johnson standing his ground. And he arrives just with the ball, does uh, the South Sydney defender, Niscott. And uh, that was a great take by Johnson under extreme pressure. Just see the final dash at that again. Now watch Johnson, has to complete concentration, takes it and gets shoulder charged. Quite legitimately, good take. Dowling. Earlier 
results in reserve grade. Manly 15, defeated Penrith 7 in uh, under 23s. Balmain 15, defeated South Sydney 10. Young, Jansen. 10 metres South Sydney side of halfway. Morris, trudge it, switch a play. Lobs a long one out there to win, standing on the blind. He's busted the defence. He's enormously... Oh, beautiful pass to Johnson. To Buckley. Buckley ran and scored a magnificent try against Parramatta off a uh, win pass. Trudgett. Finch. Or Quinn, rather. He's lost the ball. South Sydney have it. And George letting themselves down a bit at the moment. Spilling possession at critical moments. South Sydney playing with enormous enthusiasm. One wonders whether they... Uh, Won't erode away with the size of the St George pack. Hamley. Stewart a dummy half. Laurie cuts a beautiful pass there out to Wright. Wright gets it to Nisgott. Nisgott of the big step. Gets a pass back inside to Wright. Wright's got the pass away. It went forward in my view. The referee says play on last tackle. Nisgott. Stewart. Sinclair, Sinclair, the little chip over the top. McKellar will get to this. He does, feels it. Back in field he comes, runs around, pushes up one man and slips. Ten metres outside his quarter midfield. Craig Young, Buckley standing on the open side. Good tackle around the boots. Shane Arneal. Morris, Jansen. Great tackle around the legs there. Got up, played it forward, off again. Neil's around his boots. Dowling. Morris. Trudge it. Beautiful pass there to uh, number nine, Graham Wynn. And he stopped in his tracks. The tackling of some of these South Sydney small men is uh, brilliant. And that's the six. Touch judge on. Barry Ross. Did you see that incident? No. Too far away from where I'm sitting to see what happened. We're going to have uh, Robert Stone called out and Hamley posing props. We're doing our usual award today. The player we judge to be the best player will receive $400 appear on Sports World next Sunday. They'll be in line at the end of the year for the judging of all the weekly award winners. A magnificent Mazda RX-7 sports car. The prize for the footballer of Channel 7's rugby league gear. Johnson injecting himself into the centres from fullback. Morris. Oh, there's the possession gone to ground again. Steve Walsh comes up with it. St George on four occasions, as far as on three occasions, have lost possession. On the halfway line, Sinclair. Glory. Nice pass to Gibbs. It's a bit of an overlap out right if they move it wide. Laurie halfway through, still through, still going. Can't get a pass away, back slam hard. 11 metres from the St George quarter. Stewart, Sinclair. Gary Wright. It's a different uh, Rocky Laurie today. He's uh, over the virus infection and starting to get very involved in the play. Friff. That's young Carberry. Pass as he was going down, not off the ground. And... That's the six. Almost windless conditions, Barry. Nothing down on the ground there? Yes, very, very still down here at ground level. Ken Stewart scrums 184 from 383. That's a success rate of only 48%. That's uh, very marginal. Buckley standing out. Back inside to Morris. Morris is into broken field play. Gets it away to Johnson. A long, long Finch has got McKellar outside, goes a bit too far, gets the pass to McKellar, an overhead lob. McKellar stops, starts and goes again, but he's wrapped up five metres from the South Sydney quarter. This got, uh, was there, one of the defenders, Morris. Trudgett. Trudgett loses it forward again. St George let themselves down with bad handling. Four occasions now in this opening uh, ten minutes they've spilt the ball. Beautiful long pass out to Nisgott. He unloads to right back into Nisgott. They're back to right again. Could have been shepherding. There's a heavy knock on uh, Laurie. 
Stewart. Charlie Frith trying to bring some sanity to Sir He's going straight ahead. Well, Sousa prepared to throw the ball around anywhere. Hamley. Ten metres from halfway. No score in this match. We've had 11 minutes play. Stewart, the run around. Sinclair, Nathan Gibbs on the burst. Oh, he had uh, Arneal coming on the outside. Couldn't it release his arms. A little knock-on scene. Sets a back standing very shallow. South Sydney feed. And it's a St George win. On the blind side they go. Johnson. Robert Finch will slip into dummy half. Morris. Jansen. Just around about halfway. Craig Young. And loads nicely to win. Wins on the burst. and a good one. See it again. The initial pass from Craig Young was uh, a very good one. Now watch it. Here's Craig Young. Beautifully on the burst is Graham Wynn inside the defence. Steps magnificently for a big man. Has Trudgett beside him, unloads it. Trudgett with a bad knee is still able to sprint away and score. Chased by Squadrito. Head on, you're going to be surprised at the agility of Big Win. What's the sidestep that he pulls off here? Not of the first man, this one. Now that is a, an exceptional bit of football for a 15 and a half, 16 stone man. Trudgett, probably hoping that line was a bit closer at that stage, but he's there. Graham Wynn, 61 from 97 attempts, success rate of 62.9, six tries, 61 goals, 140 points. What a valuable player. 10 metres out, almost directly in front. And there it is, George, after 13 minutes play, lead by five points to nil. Now, South Sydney on their metal now. They've got to hit back. They've got to sustain some pressure. They've been keeping the ball all right. That's the only defensive lapse they've had. Actually, they've done well in the possession department. Witten again tearing them open up the middle from the ruck from dummy half. Still managed to get a pass away to Dowling. And that's great play by Wynn. He's uh, playing an enormous part already. Craig Young. Beautiful pass out to Robert Finch. Back it comes to Stone. Sets himself to charge straight ahead. The sheer size of the St George side is starting to look a bit ominous. Here's Morris running in broken play. Watch him. He's quick. He's going like a bullet. Evades one defender. Unloads to Finch. Finch shows the dummy. Gets it out to McKellar. Side. McKellar always has a tendency to run too close in line with the man in possession. He should be yards deeper. It's been a bad, a bad facet of his play since he came to Sydney football. It must be erased. Look at these sets of backs. They can shake hands with each other. There's a penalty to South Sydney. Feet across. Scrums at the stage, 3-1, St George, the penalty's one all. 15 minutes gone. Stewart, the run around with Ferguson. Five metres from halfway. Sinclair, it's in the way of one of his own players. South Sydney look a little bit uh, dispirited at the moment. Laurie. Nathan Gibbs. Pass knocked on by Trudgett. Bad football. They've got to sustain that pressure. Work the ball a few more times. They look a little bit uh, anxious at the moment. They'll be looking to bring Steve Walsh, the fullback, into as much of their play as they can at the moment. Whenever they're putting the ball on the scrums. It's a clean heel to Dowling and a good one. Morris, touch it. He's got the fullback beside him. Takes the tackle. Morris having a picnic running from dummy half. Graham Quinn, Australian centre. 
Hodge it switches the play across the rust to Robert Fitch. Craig Young. Beautiful pass there to Stone. He's caught by the collar and pulled backwards. <laughs> About three metres outside the quarter. Here's Craig Young again charging ahead. And loads nicely to Stone. He's caught it unawares. A bit of a punch-up going on. Hanley and Craig Young going out at Hammer and Tongs like Marciano and Walcott. And Stone and Frith saying, well, if the big boys can do it, we can get into it. The referee will not take my word, do anything about this. This is a case of, it's a semi-final. The big men are getting a bit toey. Stephen Walsh receiving a bit of uh, attention in the back there from a trainer. Craig Young says, no, no, it's just a case of mistaken identity. It'll be a scrum, as I suspected. Good shot from our backpack camera there. <laughs> the engine room, St George penalty. South Sydney feet up. Not allowing the ball to get in. short of the halfway line that kick 5-0 21 minutes of this first half gone Buckley Dell Morris Jansen notice how this Brian Johnson the St George fullbacks on the burst all the time charge it dummies back inside to finish that was much too hard been intercepted by O'Neill runs towards the defence. He should have unloaded quicker, I thought. He had two or three men in support. They still can make an inroad on the blind side. There's four men to three. Borry takes the tackle. Stewart. Ten metres from uh, the quarter line, St George's end. Charlie Frith. They're handling the big fella pretty well today. Trying to get behind the South Sydney side now, Sinclair. O'Neill falls, last tackle, what will it be? The bomb from Sinclair? Oh, well, I don't know what that kick's supposed to be. It's uh, not putting anyone under any, under any pressure. It was a terrible kick. Wind just unloads it out to Graham. And this got comes at him and he'll down him on the corner. Johnson. That really was a terrible kick from Sinclair and he must not give the ball back to the opposition without a reasonable chance of getting it back. Stone. He loses the ball. <laughs> Who's got it? The referee says knock-ons both ways. Overcast conditions here at the SCG. To St George, Stewart down from one arm, loose arm. He's going to be spoken to. Now the conversation will go roughly along these lines. For heaven's sake, son, keep your arm round your prop. That's a good kick. Little angle, but he made about a 23 metre gain, and that's good stuff. Nelson George, a good try to trudge it after magnificent lead-up work from Graham Winoy. There's a heavy tackle. Charlie Frith on target. Trudge it. Oh! Have a look at that one from Frith. Well, he's caused the error and there was a knock-on at the end of it, but uh, I tell you what, it's worth seeing again on the uh, on the disc replay. That one, that was <laughs> terrifying. He's like a, a projectile. Say it again. Uh, here comes the hit. That's uh, six foot five and about, uh, well, 16 and a bit stone, one would think. That should be a penalty to uh, South Sydney. Surely Morris is way offside. And with uh, about 
five, 17 minutes to go. The statistical situation. St George four scrums, South Sydney three. The penalties are three all. Stewart, Sinclair, Laurie, the dummy. Still got his pass away to Stewart. Sinclair. His pass is knocked down. Six to go, the referee is signalled. Close, how Sydney players are bunching up in the middle, they're not spread. Laurie. Hamley. Manages to go on one knee for about seven yards. It's a facelift from Jansen. Stewart. Laurie. Sinclair. Oh, much too hard. Sinclair's having an uncomfortable game today. Here's Morris. Look at this place on the over. He could run away. Well, just as well, he uh, stepped back inside uh, Steve Walsh then and gave the defence of Laurie a chance to get to him. Dowling. Judge it. Well taken. Likes to run. Got it to uh, Buckley. Buckley on the acceleration there. Ten metres from the quarter line. Quinn away to Stone. Nice pass to Graham. Graham could go on with this. And what about a bit of shepherding? The referee says no. Seemed to come behind one of his own two players. Win. Morris. Trudge it. Robert Finch. The last tackle coming up, South Sydney still bereft of defenders out there on the right. Morris, well, Jansen did well to take that. Got it for Graham, uh, Graham, but it was forward pass, not offside. A good decision by referee Danzi, I thought. See it again. Just a fingertip control job. As the switch and play comes. Now watch this one here. Yes, you can see marginally forward, but St George have come up with his second scrum win. And South Sydney forward slow to break from that scrum. His win, the danger man. And loads nicely to Finch. Here should be a try here. Quinn, now he's gone for the, the uh, dummy had gone on his own. He had McKellar unmarked on the outside. I think that was a gross error. McKellar trying to do his best crawling along the ground there. Five metres out from South line. They're on the rack at the moment. Stone. Pass. Can't be taken. It was a bad one. South Sydney come up with the ball. Ordinary bit of football by St George there. Stewart. You can put an Indian blanket over this South Sydney side at the moment. They're all in a bunch in the middle. Stewart. Right. Good acceleration. It takes play up to the quarter. Just outside the quarter on the last tackle. Now Nathan Gibbs switches it to Steve Walsh. It's a high towering kick. Johnson should get to this on the full. No, he can't do it. Graham will on the second bounce. The winger. Ten metres, St George's side of halfway. Five nil the score with 12 minutes to half time. That try scored by Tony Trudgett. A goal to Graham win. Quinn. Philip Graham. Son of a famous rugby league father. Dowling showing a useful step there for a hooker. the tackler. Well, South Sydney look exhausted to me. And there's a penalty. Barry Ross, any feelings about this uh, game, the way it's going? South Sydney look to me at this stage as though they're gone. Yes, well, I think the, the pressure's on them from St George, these big men, and when South are getting the ball, they're not holding it long enough to do anything, and they're forgetting that they've got to get into this pattern of play and spread to contain this St George side. And as you say, Rex, they, they are bouncing terribly. And that's a sure sign of of fatigue, inability to get into position, but uh, early days yet. They're not going to 
give up, that's for sure. They're up against a very large team. This guy. The Stones and the Youngs and the Jansons and the Wins, they're enormous men. Hamley. They battle it out up the middle. Good strapping young player. into the quarter for about only the second time in this match. Ten minutes to half time. Here's Charlie Frith. Great tackle right round the boots by Trudgeon. Knocked him base over Apex. Stewart. Carberry. Finally felled. Stewart, a little tiny knock on. He's quite right, the referee. It was only a minute one, but it was there. They can ill afford those little errors. Five to three, the scrums favour St George, but South Sydney have come up with an important one. Laurie. O'Neill. Great cover by Buckley. Nathan Gibbs, a good pass to Gary Wright. Oh, and a fine tackle. Snapped his legs away from underneath him. Try at the moment for South and get their tails well and surely back. Here's the fullback. Walsh. Ten metres out. And a penalty. Offside. He's got uh, Robert Stone almost directly in front. Well, opposite the left hand upright. A simple kick for a good kicker, but uh, that's just widening the it over without any trouble so the score is diminished slightly in St George's favour from uh, 5 nil to 5 2 and we have about eight minutes of the second of this first half to go Wynn driving the kick deep Steve Walsh hasn't he's going to put it back doesn't get onto that ball properly it's an ordinary kick Graham has it they're onside now South Sydney Over to Graham Quinn on the blind side. Craig Young. Morris caught uh, coming the blind side there with nobody to give the ball to. Stone. the last tackle. What are George's tactics? Trudge it. Well, he dummied to kick that. I thought he dropped it uh, and then caught it again. And that's the six. Five to four, the scrums. St George's favour. The penalties are south way, five to three. St Clair needs to be careful here. That looked like a bad feed. And he's got hands, but uh, the first uh, thing I thought was the uh, crooked feed. Say it again, that scrum. Now see if you think it's a crooked feed. Now where's that vagrant hand? Stewart's hand was the one responsible. So win with his second kick at goal. Sea of faces on the Sydney Creek ground. The hill pretty jam packed. This is three metres outside the quarter, about 21 metres in from the sideline. The crowd giving it the Raz. He sliced it badly away to the right, no goal. That is a let off to South Sydney. So the score remains St George 5, South Sydney 2. Just kick. Taken by Morris, who goes back in a assist to the fullback role. Dowling 
runs from dummy half. He's made a few metres for St George this year with that. Craig Young. Chanson. Morris right into the clear. Oh, he could go on with this. And a great tackle there by Steve Walsh. Puts him in a touch. As soon as the broken field running starts, as soon as the defence is broken up, Morris is positive, horrifying danger. There's a scrum winner South Sydney. They cut out a man. Laurie has it. Accelerates to the quarter line. Quickly to his feet, or tries to. Sinclair. Nathan Gibbs. Back inside nicely to Arneel. Arneel, uh, a much improved player with the South Sydney side. Sinclair. Overdoing it. Stewart. Squadrito. Squadrito kicks. It's not going to be a great kick, is it? Johnson has it covered. Ferguson has Johnson. And Hamley has it. They've got him down about 13 metres out from his line. Buckley, the run around with Craig Young. Five to two, the score. With about three and a half minutes to go. To half time. The period of the game yesterday when the Canterbury scored that try just before half time. Yes, very critical moment for both sides. Win. Stood up on a tackle. On the quarter line. St George is in. Sun comes out in a brilliant blaze. Pass well given by Craig Young. But uh, Trudger was tackled straight away. Jansen elects to kick. He's kicked it down the throat of Ferguson. It's come off his legs. Can Ferguson get to it? He can't. Pitch gets to it. Now to Shane McKellar. It's a bit of bad luck for South Sydney, actually. Ferguson had no chance of getting to that on the full. Jansen. Craig Young. Oh, he's thrown that a long, long way. Picked up by Graham Quinn. Up towards halfway. Trudge it. Robert Stone. There's a good bit of defence from Rocky Laurie. Just picked a 15 and a half stone man up and dumped him on his shoulder. A beautiful pass to Jansen. That pass taken nicely by Trudgett. Trudgett's got support. Buckley was there, but he couldn't get the pass away. South Sydney in disarray at the moment. Now St George got Craig Young there. Beautiful pass on to Quinn out there. And Fincher pinches him with a try. St George right between the posts. St George 8, South Sydney 2. And Barry Ross, that critical moment again. Again, exactly. That's uh, that letdown. As Roy Masters said this morning on Sports World. I thought I'd go to half-time at 7-2, but instead I go to half-time at 12-2, and that's what's facing Bill Anderson now. Right, let's say it again. Craig Young's pass was uh, an absolute beauty. Graham Quinn came beautifully on the burst, beat the defence, got it to his centre part of Finch. Good, uh, clever professional football to come back inside. Very underrated centre, this fellow. Say it again from head on. Only the two breaks George have made, really, that have looked dangerous. Morris has made a couple of solo busts. This is good football. There's the hooter in the background. The change of direction from Fitch was the critical factor. Elated St George players in the background. The big dive safely put the ball down. Well, that, uh, on the evidence of the first 40 minutes, is going to be very tough to come back from for South Sydney. From in front, it's going to be, one would think, 10 to 2 at half time. And almost the same as yesterday. I think it was 12 to 2. Oh, yeah, but, uh, yeah. Wint's kick is successful and a quick rundown of all the statistics. The scrums have gone five all. The penalties are five to four in favour of South Sydney. The errors, eight. Uh, St George, six to South Sydney. The try scorers for St George have been Robert Finch and Tony Trudgett with Wint kicking two goals. And the solitary points for the South Sydney side uh, come from Eric Ferguson, the penalty goal. Can South Sydney come back from what looks like the chasm of defeat? The next 40 minutes will tell. We'll be back in a moment. The kickoff with this uh, South Sydney side in deep trouble, 10-2 deficit at the moment. South Sydney in possession. Niscott has busted the right up the middle from the catch, got it back towards halfway. It's been a strong run, a 
great run. Now, that might just be the medicine south and they need to get themselves back in uh, gear. Moving it wide, turn back inside to Squadrito. Squadrito makes a good inroad, gets a pass away that's gone to ground. Will it be knocked on? It's picked up by South Sydney. The referee says play on. Hamley out to right, out to Sinclair. The pass there out to Niscot again. He surely must be exhausted after his initial burst. And that was a good passage of play, but uh, errors again, letting South Sydney down. And Barry Ross has been in the South Sydney dressing area. What was the story? Well, they're very concerned, both sides actually, but very concerned about the drop balls, but particularly South Sydney because this allowed South St George to put a lot of pressure on them, and they were bunching, and uh, Bill Anderson hopes to eradicate that from their play this half, and they've got to spin the ball, but as you said earlier, Rex, settle down before they spin it. There's a penalty to South Sydney. Oh, incorrect feed, of course, by Morris. And a uh, little punch thrown there by Robert Stone that missed by quite a distance. I couldn't imagine Ferguson kicking for goal from that point. You'll see Steve Walsh kick for touch. Now they must keep the ball for the six tackles. Even if they don't score during the sequence, there's the possibility of getting it back from the ensuing six tackle uh, scrum. And more pressure for St George now. The crowd's starting to rise. This guy. About 17 metres out. Stewart. Otis Sinclair, Hamley on the burst. So Sydney players still only going one out. There's been a, an incident there. We'll pick that up in a minute if we can store that in our disc. Corey back inside. Again, it's gone to Australia. Buckley has it. And St George off the hook. It's just not good enough. So Sydney panicking. Trudge it. Craig, yeah. St George compounding the error by giving the ball back to South Sydney. Laurie runs from dummy half. Now watch and see whether the ball carrier is backed up by anyone. That's the thing in South Sydney. They're going one out at the moment. Squadrito. Particularly among the forwards. Charlie Frith takes it up. Stones has got uh, a whack in the face. The trainer's on. There's Carberry climbing, literally climbing over the top of the tackler. So he was going upstairs. Oh, Rocky Laurie. Dear, oh dear. And another punch thrown on that little altercation. It's a change of possession, Trevor Gardner has just pointed out to him, a statistician, four times in, four, in uh, the opening four minutes of the second half. Would you believe five times in four minutes? Coach's nightmare, that sort of handling. Robert Stone having the uh, wanders around here at the moment. He's out among the backs and a little bit dazed about the proceedings. He's walking... He's playing outside centre at the moment. Yeah, Morris, a little kick through. He'll run onto this, probably. He's been held back. Must be a penalty. Stupidity. Well, South Sydney really not showing a lot of intelligence in this half. They've panicked every time they've touched the ball, thrown the ball away. Stone signalling to Harry Bath on the sideline that he's uh, OK and wants to continue. McKellar. 10-2. The score line, St George's Y. We've had five minutes of the second half. Dowling. Morris. There's a bad bit of football too. A low, hard pass to a player coming closer to you. Should be popped up nice and easy, those ones. Now South Sydney in possession. Had six errors in the opening five minutes of this second half. 
Carberry got a good pass away there to Arneil and uh, out it goes to right. Still on the halfway line. Laurie, the dummy. Right through the gap. Spinning away, showing a good turn of speed. Johnson's coming at him. Johnson won't get to him. Yes, he will. It's a... Well, what's that going to be? The touch judge just said it's a try, and it is. The referee's awarded it. Vanzi had to go on the touch judge's decision, and it's going to be very critical as we see this replay from side on. We'll slow it down over the last few seconds because it's absolutely critical that they got the ball down before the touch of the corner post was taken. But watch the break. The dummy... Right through the gap, surprising speed. Finch beaten for pace there. Now he's looking and he's got his ball in the correct arm so he can use the fend. He holds Johnson off. Now watch as we slow it down. As we slow it. As we slow it. It's Johnson's body that takes the corner post, in my view. We'll see it from head on. A great break by Rocky Laurie. Now look for the position of the linesman too and you'll see how close he was to the play. There he is, about 15, 16 metres back. Now it's Johnson's body, in my view, that took the corner post. Now Ferguson, who's kicked some superb goals for South Sydney this year, won our Aries Award on Sports World for last week's uh, effort when he kicked six from six. Just away to the right. The distance was okay, the direction was pretty good, but there's the score line. St George 10, South 5. Now that was a critical try, as indeed they all are. Seven and a half minutes to the second half gone. Oh, Ferguson having to go down to that uh, and try to half volley it. Stewart, Carberry, he's had the ball stolen from him by Wynn, that's a terrible error, Wynn the pass, look at the try, it's Finch in for Graham Quinn is it, yeah Graham Quinn in for a try and that of a terrible error when young Carberry had the ball stolen from him in a tackle, see it again, and Graham Wynn really, towering like a colossus over this game. Now here's Carberry, youngster playing one of his first first grade games, only been used as a replacement. There's Wynn, steals it from him completely, sprints away, in the twinkling of an eye, the pass nicely out to Graham Quinn in the clear at full stretch, and that's a good try. Now that's what that's what a good side can do, can come back from adversity as George have done. Quinn a little bit. Shorter pace there, but he's, the line was close enough. And the team talk there. Wynn moves in from the sideline and just outside the quarter with his fourth attempted goal. He's been successful with two. Not successful with that one. Very well away, and the score remains then. St George 13. South Sydney, five. Ferguson. Well taken by Buckley. He's had a pretty useful game. Now St George with their methodical style. Watch the forwards, they'll take a few. Here's Craig Jansen up the middle, sucking the defenders to him. Forcing two and three to tackle him at a time. Robert Stone will go up the blind side and do the same thing. Halfway through the tackle. Probably use Craig Young now to give it to somebody coming on the burst. There it is. Up to Jansen. And look this time and see if the backs might get a run. Stevie Morris may call for it. No, it's going for the kick this time. They grab a kick and there's a bit of professional football. Six tackles used. About 50 metres gain. Steady stuff. Souths need to do some of that. minutes. 
minutes of the second half. 13-5. St. George lead. Get another scrum win. Buckley back to Morris. Morris has sighted an opening and only an angle tap. A legitimate one by Laurie put him away. Buckley. Trudge it. Finch. Nicely out to uh, Quinn, rather. Nicely out to Finch. Spreading the South Sydney side around. Jansen steps. Goes nicely. A pass away on the inside there to uh, Robert Finch. Now, out along the line. Trudge it. Yep. Back inside to Buckley. Buckley runs into a hornet's nest. Finch says, uh, Fifth says, Come here. Support on the outside and uh, Quinn, but he couldn't get a pass away. Graham Wynn. The pass has gone astray, it's gone forwards, and South Sydney do anything about it. It can't be a try. It's got to be an offers. There's plenty of them. Scrums and George looking ominously to me as though they're going to go away with this. Barry Ross, any comment? Well, it appears that way. They're big men. They're the little, the little, the smaller South City fellas must be feeling it now. And that drop ball has contributed to this a lot because a lot of pressure when there shouldn't have been pressure. Yes, they were back in the game at 10 5, weren't they? No doubt of that. And there was a big try sitting here amongst some of the South Sydney fellas and they were elated and they thought they could go on with it. Just outside the uh, 10 metre line, Laurie kicks tactically. It's not going to be a line finder. Well, it's got a bit of an off break at the end of it. There's the defence coming up quickly and Shane McKellar wrapped up nicely. Wright was quicker, as was Ferguson. 33,552, a much better crowd. Craig Young. <laughs> Dowling. Good, old, good little sprint from Dummy Half. He's made a lot of mileage for St. George side this year. Win. Jansen puts it down. Ferguson has it. George up like the uh, the line of guards in defence. So quick do they get into position. Harry Bath knows the value of a straight line of defence. Penalties have gone to South Sydney seven to five. The scrums have gone to South Sydney seven to six. And the errors around about 12-11 St George's way. His kick is not a bad one from midfield. This is the blind side. Nathan Gibbs has been well and truly handled every time he's attempted to run on the blind side. Stewart. Carberry's lost it again. He's going to remember this game. It's no good being sorry for young fellas when they get into the big time and into first grade football and they make errors. Their uh, age doesn't make any difference out there. There's another error. South Sydney in possession now. He's got sprinting, looking for right. That's right, right's taken towards the sideline. Still in the field of play. South Sydney with uh, St George in some disarray at the moment. Here comes Neil. Rod Reddy. Reddy after 16 minutes. Wearing number 17, just leaving the, going into the arena now. And uh, St George obviously going to put on a fresh man. Now it's in the South Sydney, the crowd really screaming at the moment. Sinclair. Away to right. He's only five metres away. Terribly important they keep calm and not panic. Stewart. Charlie Frith. 
He's only three metres away. Seems like three miles. Laurie, too deep. Oh, that's a bad kick. That is awful. Now, Rocket Ready getting the big cheer from the St George fans. And who'll it be off? Touch saves comes on until the referee. Should be John Jansen. Jansen uh, has had a fair game, made a few errors, handling errors, but he's been useful. Bath goes over to uh, Pat Reddy on the back. Sydney back in possession. Have you seen possession change hands as regularly as this? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Steve Walsh. Top tackle there from Buckley. And Rocket ready pats him on the back. Now, young Carberry. Got a bit of a serve from Trudgett there, but Main managed to hang on to the ball that time. South Sydney. One of the good players in the South Sydney side today. Now they've got an overlap here if they can use it. But Laurie kicks unaccountably. They may get something out of this. Johnson magnificent in the air. Great take. I can't work out why Laurie kicked on that occasion. Graham brings the play back to the quarter line. 17. And it's gone. Ready. First touch of the ball. It's a bit of a forearm jolt there. Morris right into the clear. And it's a kick and chase situation. Ferguson could get there first. He does. That's good uh, football from Ferguson. Walsh tackled straight away by Morris, who's done very well in that little exchange. Ferguson. Hamley. As if he'd run into a brick wall. Craig Young being part of the brick wall and Stone being the other part. Sorry. Charlie Frith wound up. Outside the corner. He's had a very enthusiastic game today, Charlie Frith. Laurie. Dummy. Oi! Craig Young comes across with a great bit of cover. Sinclair, the kick ahead. Ready gets it, loses it. Still going, the ball's knocked back with no other South Sydney people following on. Game wide open at the moment. Broken field running, position changing hands. Ready. Hangs onto the ball. South Sydney welcome him with open arms. Gets up and plays it back. Harry Bath living every moment of this game. I think he'd like to get out there. Trudgett. Ready. Quick hands to Craig Young. Win. Again, breaks the tackle, breaks two. Gets it away to Graham. Graham's at the sideline. The defence comes over. There's no other backer-uppers there for St George. It's just Johnson. Craig Young found a great gap to run into. Unloads beautifully to Trudgett. Trudgett looking for number two. Last tackle. Can South Sydney withstand this battering? 20 minutes gone for the second half. first and there's a try gone begging for St George South Sydney must surely be exhausted at the moment their players have been under enormous pressure Ferguson pass astray picked up by Joe Squadrito number three the inside centre mostly players inside centre right I'm um, sorry um, South Sydney could be Family. making two changes now. Cole Cheeseman and John Peake both going out to the coach, Bill Anderson. One couldn't understand the value of John Peake with a groin strain that kept him out of the first selection of the game. Carberry. But we'll see what happens with that one. Here's a gap. Yawning over. 
six tackle, the referee has called. It was Sinclair. He's ruled that he's, uh, he was progress stopped and tackle had been called. Bill Anderson looking at some of his players down there and uh, obviously working out who's going to do what. And the scrum winner, St George. Johnson on the burst. And his opposite number, Stephen Walsh, wraps him up. Ten metres out from the south line. 33,000 spectators still here watching this exciting second half. Buckley. 13 points to five. St George lead. Craig Young. Back to Stone. Already pushes Craig Young out of the way and says, let me have a go at it. Here he comes. Ran as the foil then. Way to Graham Quinn. Robert Finch. Nicely to Reddy. Pass away to Buckley. Backed up on the outside. Last tackle. Ready. Craig Young. Pass knocked down. Picked up by Sinclair. Another promising looking St George foray ends with South Sydney getting the ball. Ready the defender. Charlie Fritz still vigorously taking the ball up to the opposition. And very good game for the Rabbitohs. Squadrito. Twenty-two minutes in the second half run. Laurie, a nice pass away to right. There's probably been the best South Sydney back. Stewart. Rubber kicks. Could be a good one. It is. Great rubber kick. Bobby Fulton special. 16-12, a massive error count for a game in such perfect conditions, not using new balls. Hamley comes from the field for South Sydney. Looks like Cole Cheeseman gone on. What number is he playing? 24. It's come up. It's a penalty to South. Let's have a look at this penalty situation. It's gone South Sydney's way by 9-6. to six. The scrum is still at 7-all. a fine kick. Albert Johnson's managed to touch it, but we're, yes, the touch side is indicated. I thought he had both feet off the ground then, when he touched that ball. Can we just see that again quickly? Out of shot. St George uh, with the scrum, and that compounds the error from not finding touch properly, do you see? But had Johnson's feet been both off the ground, it would have been an illegal touch. an ineffective touch. It still would have been out correctly. Stone. Recover from that knock he sustained. Craig Young. Trudge it. Just on the St George quarter line. Three tries to this St George side and their highly professional exhibition today. Footballer this Graham win is. And his brother Peter. Yes, will double. Shane McKellar affecting the tackle there. South Sydney, to their credit, have not stopped trying. It's just their method of been a little bit. That question. Gibbs bust one tackle, pass away. Six to go, says referee Dante. On the halfway line. Worry. Cuts out Amanda's pass lost behind. It's lost again. Still there, but South Sydney's still in possession, still six to go. Well, they've lost about 18 metres. Right. 
Ferguson. We can put it at a complete disadvantage then. No, a terrible pass from right, really. Evidently tackled and been called. Ferguson gets up and resents that. Minor altercation. kick up to halfway Ferguson Stone it's got to be a penalty he's been told to play it he'd been told he was tackled that's the only reason the referee's penalised him and he's run off Results of the earlier fixtures today and reserve grade Manly 15 defeated Penrith 7 and in under 23's Balmain 15 defeated the South Sydney side 10. McKellar. Stone on the blind side. Yeah. Ready. Morris. Charge it. Buckley. Now there's got to be a penalty the other way. He was told to play it. So the referee being completely consistent. That what the crowd who roar can't be aware of, of course, that the referee verbally tells the player that you're tackled, play it. In those situations, was a, a stand-up situation. Oh, his feet were both off the ground that time, so obviously the touch judge is ignoring that. That was just a swallow dog. Now South Sydney, this will be their last possible chance, one would think. They've got to sustain something here. Ferguson. The China goal puts them back in some sort of contention. Sinclair, Charlie Frith, who's taken the ball up courageously all day long and uh, should get some sort of award from this South Sydney side. Oh, spare me days. I ne nearly use a profanity then. Poor Carberry was on the end of a horrible pass around his boots. Phil Anderson will be pulling his hair out by the roots at that sort of football. George White and a penalty to South Sydney. It's against Dowling for down on that scrum. There's Dowling last up. Sinclair takes the quick tap. Nathan Gibbs. Effectively tackle. Cheeseman. Ten metres out. Sinclair. Nathan Gibbs. Neil slips as he tries to strike eight metres away. Nathan Gibbs, Stewart, Charlie Fripp, ever full, ever hopeful, ever going full. Stewart, Sinclair, Laurie, the dummy. He's a master of that dummy pass and going on his own, the run around. Ferguson. Up she goes. Uh, Nisgott's offside in my view, but Johnson takes it anyway. Take. He's been under pressure, what, three times? And taken each one of them magnificently. Exactly as Rod Reddy said, taken them very well. Line dropout, not a great one. Laurie does the soccer job and stops it with his foot on the quarter line. Now they've got five tackles within 20 metres. Sinclair. Walsh beats one. Good tackle there from 
Craig Young. Laurie Gibbs, plus one tackle. 13 to 5, St George Lou. Time running out. Stewart. This one's gone too high. Johnson again. Another magnificent catch. These are beautiful. Oh, he's taking these bombs. Ready. Dowling. Charlie Fritz with the enveloping type tackle. Into the last five minutes now. By our clock, the ground clock says a minute to go to that time. Win. Passes forward. The referee will play the advantage. No penalty. Long shadows of the stand now stretching almost across the ground. The crowd sensing that this game may well be over. 17, 14, errors, number of times each side's conceded the ball back to the opposition. This is a scrum winner, St George. Out along the line it comes, Trudget. Graham Quinn, Graham Quinn. Got a pass away, well handled by Graham. Graham Butler's going, he'll score a try. Graham Quinn laid it on, McKellar's going with him just to make sure there's backup. And Graham scoring again, scored against Parramatta last week. And uh, a good try. Yes, that's maybe his fourth try of the year, as you said, Barry. Well, let's uh, really put it, uh, put him through the hoop now. South Sydney finished for 1980. This was good three-quarter line play, Trudgett. Nice football there from Graham Quinn, but well picked up by Philip Graham. He's got a bit of pace, the lad, too. I'd like to see him carry the ball on the correct arm when he's running near a left-hand touchline, but you'll see again. Just how well he picked that pass up. At this point, now watch. Yes, indeed. Good swerve, and he sights the uh, goal line and says, well, this will do me. Good backing up there from McKellar, too, to go with him all the way. Wind coming in with attempt number five. Four tries to one. Fair indication of the superiority. That kick not successful, so the score then remains. 16, St George, 5, South Sydney. Vincing, highly professional display by St George. They've taken their chances and taken them well. Strong win by South Sinclair. Found a good opening. 33,552 spectators. Neil. On the halfway line. Buckley the tackler. Back inside to Scudrito. Scudrito through one tackle. Still manages to unload his pass to Stewart. Out to Nathan Gibbs again. And there's Gary Wright. Good defence by St George. Laurie. Sinclair. Walsh to Squidrito, back inside to Arneal, then to Walsh again, spirited play by South Sydney. We think we're in the dying stages of the game, the dying last seconds. Penalties have gone 12 to 7 in favour of South Sydney, the scrums have gone 9 to 8 in favour of St George. Stewart's bomb. Oh, McKellar leaves it. Ferguson has it. It's offside. He's got Ferguson for offside. The try scorers for the St George side have been Graham Quinn, Robert Finch, Philip Graham and Tony Trudgett. And Graham Wynn has kicked two goals from five attempts. to our timepiece we're about 45 seconds over time but nonetheless we're not official time Steve Walsh
Walsh has come from the field. Eric Ferguson's gone back to fullback. There's a number 17 on. It's Gary Knight. There's the hooter in the background, and that's the ball game for South Sydney. And 1980, St George have won this match by 16 points to five. Our award winner today was Graham Wynn, quite an outstanding first half and continued very solidly in the second. Results of the other matches today in under 23s, Balmain 15, South Sydney 10, Manly 15, Penrith 7 in reserve grade, the match we televised, the first grade game, St George 16, South Sydney 5 and very professional tradesman like display from the St George side and South Sydney tried very hard but they were always going to be beaten by a bigger, stronger and more professional team. Now for viewers of the 7 uh, network, uh, the matches will be televising next weekend, Easts and Canterbury on the Saturday and Wests and Saints on the Sunday. For Sydney viewers of ATN, both of those matches may be seen from 6 till 7.30. This is Rex Mossop from the Sydney Cricket Ground. Rex Mossop is back with the major semi-finals at 6 o'clock next Saturday and Sunday evenings here on Channel 7. Right now, stay by for the movie acclaimed as the greatest screen adventure ever made, Spartacus, the slave-turned-gladiator who challenged the Iron Legions of Rome. An incredible cast and an unforgettable spectacle. Spartacus is next, showing at an earlier time than usual as a special end-of-school holidays attraction. And don't forget the new Battlestar Galactica movie, plus the incredible new show about Nazi war criminals on tomorrow evening right here on Channel 7.